Today is New Year's Eve and we always do Chinese food on New Year's. So I'll be doing a spaghetti squash chow mein in the instant pot and I'm going to be trying to do an egg foo young, which is an egg dish with gravy in the skillet. So the amount of time and pressure you do for your spaghetti squash really depends on the size of your squash. Um, as you can see, mine maybe got a smidge overcooked. It depends on if you want yours al dente, um, more firm, or kind of more mushy. Um, normally, I would do mine a little bit more al dente, but I think it'll still turn out fine. I did mine on um, manual for 12 minutes, and then I let it um, release naturally for 7. But I would recommend, um, if you have a smaller one especially, doing it, starting it for about six and then see if you like the consistency of that. And if it's not cooked enough, just add it for another minute. Right here I have my homemade gravy. It's just the basic gravy recipe from the Trim Healthy Mom website, and I'll link that at the bottom of the page. Egg Fu Yan is basically like a giant egg cake, and usually it is fried in restaurant oil and it has some cornstarch in it. Um, today I'm going to be trying that without the cornstarch and fried in coconut oil. Also, typically there will be a lot of vegetables, however I've used up most of the vegetables already that would be good in something like that for the chow mein. So I'm just going to do a basic, really simple egg foo young and have this gravy on top. We just finished eating our New Year's Eve dinner. Both of the dishes turned out really good and everybody thinks that we should use the same recipes again next year. The egg foo young, I think, was everyone's favorite. The gravy was amazing too. Um, really simple recipe. Um, overall, I think that was the best dish. The chow mein turned out amazing as well, but people went up more for the egg foo young. 
Now we're just about to go outside and light off some New Year's Eve fireworks. Thanks so much for watching guys! Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, and check out The Unconformed Kitchen on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest.